Anthropic releases an iOS app and also announces a payment plan for organizations that want to use Cloud AI as a team. WhatsApp announces the ability for you to create group events inside WhatsApp communities. LinkedIn adds gaming to the platform by bringing in-stream games that you can play if you want to take a break. More details about these three and the other top news items of the week coming up in this episode number 233 of the Connected Church News with me, Nachi Lazarus. Welcome. This is the show that brings you the top five digital, social media, AI and emerging tech news that you need to know for this week in just five minutes. Let's get started. Anthropic, the company behind Claude AI, made a couple of important announcements last week. One is about the release of a team plan. You can now access Claude as a team by paying per seat so that you have centralized billing, you can change staff and so on. And the plan starts at $30 a month per user. The team plan features include increased usage, access to the entire Claude 3 family, which is uh, Haiku, Opus and Sonnet, and also 200K context window. The announcement about this team plan includes an interesting detail that says we will be releasing additional collaboration features including citations from reliable sources like Perplexity AI to verify AI generated claims. The next news is the launch of the iOS app for Cloud AI. It will sync with the web data and it also has vision capabilities which means you can upload your photos straight from your phone, analyze the photos, get contextual understanding of the photos and so on. WhatsApp has announced important updates to its communities feature. I know many ministries, nonprofits listening to me use WhatsApp communities actively and communities can be a great way to bring together your entire ministry under one umbrella. Now you can add events inside your WhatsApp groups that are within the communities. Let's say you're organizing a men's gathering or a prayer group or something like that. You can easily add events. The most important thing is whoever is interested in attending these events will get a notification on WhatsApp, which could be valuable when it comes to driving participation through WhatsApp for your ministry. The next announcement is about the replies in the announcement groups. As you all know, every community comes with an announcement group where you send one message and it gets broadcasted out to everyone inside the community. Now people will be able to reply to those announcements, but the replies will be grouped together. Snapchat has released a set of new features, including one that has been highly requested, which is the ability to edit chats. You can now edit your Snapchat message that you send to someone within five minutes of sending it before they reply. And this will soon be rolled out to paid Snapchat Plus subscribers. Now let's get to the AI powered features. The first one is AI reminders. You can ask Snapchat AI to remind you or set a countdown for an event or a meeting or a get together that's coming up and the app will be able to help you with that. Bitmojis are something that's very popular within the platform. Now you can get the help of AI to design the outfit for your Bitmoji. The final feature is about 90s AI powered lens, which takes you back in time to the 90s. And Snapchat says more than 40 million snaps have been done by the users using these 90s AI lens. This week's news episode is brought to you by Connector Church Academy. Connector Church Academy is an education hub for the faith-based community to learn how to use social media and AI for their ministry growth. So if you are a leader or a media team member of a nonprofit, a church or a ministry, then this is something you might want to check out. Do visit cca.live. The webpage is cca.live. We will also link to it in the description of wherever you're listening to me. Do take a look and I will see you inside the academy. LinkedIn has launched three new games inside the platform. Yes, you heard me say the words games and LinkedIn in the same sentence. If you're like me wondering what is LinkedIn doing with gaming, then you have to read this well-articulated uh, announcement that is written by the vice president of LinkedIn, where he says there are three things that really brings people together, knowledge, news, and gaming. So their idea is to use gaming as a social break in between work where employees can come and they can play a game, they take a break from work, but at the same time interact with each other, building camaraderie, having a little bit of professional engagement 
on the platform. The announcement says you will be able to play each game once a day, see other connections who have played that day and engage in some friendly rivalry with leaderboards. LinkedIn also says we want to give people a way to exercise their brains while taking a quick break from work. While discussing the quarterly performance for the first quarter of 2024, Pinterest made a statement or an observation which I wanted to bring to your notice. If you are a ministry or a nonprofit using Pinterest as one of your social channels, then this might be important for you. The CEO announced that users are roughly three times more likely to save collage pins that is Pinterest pins that are created by AI and made in the form of collage. They are three times more likely to save those versus other pins on Pinterest. This is an important clue on the type of content that works well on Pinterest now. The announcement also said, we are continuing to see collages gain traction with Gen Z who are nearly 70% of the collage creators. And I know that most of you as nonprofits and ministries are always looking for new ways to reach Gen Z. So here is a new type of content that seems to be working well for Gen Z. Pass this information on to your media team. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then this might be a good time to do that so that you're always on top of all that's happening in the digital and the social media space.